Chinese lantern. Okay, it's coming along. Um, we need to get these bars hands together, I think. Okay, so take it maybe the first line, then try the next three bars, no, four bars, sorry, beg your pardon, on the next line. And then I think we're gonna try the next four bars as well. Okay, so let's take it one line at a time. So the first line, make sure you're starting with your F in the left hand and your D, okay. Keep these notes steady. of times in your practice then start with the next line now the next line you don't need to move the left hand but at some point you've got to move the right hand three four so that it's ready to play the a with a five one two three four okay so you've got a couple of options really either when you get to the end of the first line when you play the D in the right, sorry, when you play the D in the left hand, coming next, you move the right hand at the same time. So I've moved it right at the beginning. The other option is to move it at some point during these two bars, or move it when you're counting that tie. Now, if you haven't got any counting written in that bar, that's where the F sign is, put one, two, and the minim, which is three and four. And of course the A comes in the first beat of the next bar, which is where you're continuing to hold that D, aren't you? So you count three, four on the D and then play the right hand. So you could move the right hand there. Let's try that instead. So I'm gonna play the end of the first line. Now I'm gonna play the left hand. three, four, I've moved the right hand. Okay, so I moved it while I was counting beats three and four. Let's do that again. This time I'm just gonna start from the beginning of the line. But the important thing is that you start with your hand where it was on the, on the first line, because you've got to practice moving it at somewhere. the right hand there was a skip just at the end of that group of notes from F to D. Okay so that's another little bit of practice then the next time we're going to start from the next bar so the right hand has got to move back to where it was with the fifth finger on the D and we're almost the same we found that there's an, a difference in the left hand and you've put the thumb fingering on that A if you haven't just put a thumb fingering on that A okay but do remember in that bar, it's just like the second bar of the music, you need to go steady with those right hand notes. So I'll go from the end of the second line. So this time I'm playing A in the left hand to G. Then I carry on. Because all that is the same as the first line. All right, so it's just literally two notes that are different. So I think you could probably play that. Let's go again from, what bar is that? Nine. Here's the difference. Keep the right hand slow. Then the quavers. One more there, because I looked away. Let's do it again. Here's the A in the left hand, down to the G. Quavers. 